Okay, so welcome to another one of the new Brighton Capital educational videos. And what we're going to be going through in this video is how do you set up the read-only API access on btcmarkets.net. Uh, so uh, just as another uh, understanding, when we do have the read-only API access, it gives us no ability to move any funds. So just to be clear, the read-only access only allows us to see the activity on your account. We cannot transfer any funds. We cannot trade or in any way move any funds or coins within the account. So it just allows us to basically uh, see what's going on within the account. So once you're actually logged in to BTC Markets, you can see on the top here we've got, uh, on the left-hand side, we've got Home, Buy, Sell, Account, and SMSF. Just wanna click on the Account option there. And just underneath the green bar menu, we've got another list of options here. So Overview, so Transaction History, Deposit, Withdrawal Profile, uh, two-factor authentication, ID verification, and API key on there. So we want to click the API key option. So click that one there. Uh, if you already have API keys set up, they'll be here. But if not, we'll just say you currently have no generated API keys, no problem. What, so what we want to do is just click this green button halfway down on the right-hand side there. So add new API key. And here you can select the access that you'll be giving us. So in each of these options, you can have a read only option or read and write. We want read only for each option. So just make sure it's read only, read only, and read only. And then click submit. And it'll be generating the API key there. Now this is the API secret. When you have an API key, there are two sides to it, kind of like a username and password. We've got the API key, and then we've got the secret key. So this will show you the secret key. This will only be the only time that this secret is actually shown. So we actually need both sides, um, the API key and the secret. So just make sure you copy this section. And what you wanna do then, once you copy it, click OK. We wanna go over into your online portal um, and go into the section, if it's for the end of year obligations with the, uh, the tax return file invite, you can go into the cryptocurrency investments. If it's your setup um, client portal with all the information on setting up your SMSF, you can go into the setting up uh, the account section and you can see it's just got, please enter the read only API keys in the notes. Here we've actually already got one from CoinSpot. So here we wanna do a second one. So we'll do BTC markets. We've got the key and we've got the secret. Okay, so we, the reason we want to put this on the client portal is it's uh, more secure than just sending through email. So just make sure you do upload these details via the portal. So here we've got the secret put in there. Now we need to go back and actually get the key. So if you hover over where it says keys, we've got the public information. You can see that's the public API key. And just next to that little eyeball, you've got the option to actually copy the API key. So click copy to the clipboard and come back here and paste that in the key section. So here we've got the key and the secret. Once that's uploaded, just click save. And that information is added on to your client portal. And we have the API key and there's nothing more to do. And just as a side note, uh, if the person you're sharing with the, the API key with, uh, you no longer wanna allow them access to viewing your account, you can always revoke the API key. So you can just uh, log back in here and click revoke API key. You're about to revoke your API key, cannot be undone, uh, but you can generate a new API key and then share that information again. So if you do wanna get rid of it, you just click confirm. Just gotta do a quick verification process. And then it'll be deleted and no one else uh, will have access to viewing your account. So any questions, let us know. Uh, we'll always be happy to help. But uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.